Assalamu alaikum dear students Welcome back to Learn Daily Physics and today you can see we are going to find average energy by using partition function Previously we talked about, in previous lecture we talked about canonical ensemble and we've derived the derivation for the probability this is the derivation for the probability density and we talked about what partition function is now we are going to find the average energy by using this partition function after that we will find out entropy and uh, Helmholtz energy and another state function so moving on to where the average energy we know that what average energy is what internal energy we call it also internal energy so they are quite similar to us we know what they are, what it is but we never find the relation for this average energy so now what we are going to do today is we are going to find out its relation so starting from the formula the general formula for the average energy is pi ei summation i equals to zero to infinity okay this is the general formula the first formula for the average energy is pi ei let's talk about what pi is okay so the probability function this pi we've derived earlier is this probability density okay and the value putting this value of pi in our equation here so we will have a value this okay putting out the value of this p of i we will have this equation I, I will rewrite that p of i this p of i is equals to divided by the partition function e minus e i over k b t summation i equals to zero to infinity and this internal factor is called boseman factor and uh, here it will be equals to minus e i without submission okay this pulse factor is without submission and in denominator it is with submission okay so zero to infinity like this now what we are going to do is we know that z is equals this partition function this denominator function is a partition function and this partition function can be written like this okay we can write this partition function like this and when we take the time derivative of this partition function we will have partial by partial e this summation will be go will go out and this factor now how we've taken the derivative of this okay mostly people will know that but i will do that step for you partial by partial t of e minus e i over k b t so when we take the temperature differential with respect to temperature it will be this this power factor comes same as it is first minus e of i over k b t and then the derivative of this function partial by partial t minus e i over k b this t was in denominator and i should write i can write this as t minus one this function this above function now this above function the derivative of this above function will be equals to minus e minus e of i over k b t minus this minus will be minus this one and the minus from the power here will cancel out each other and it will be e t minus 2 which will be k b t power 2 okay so you can simply say that this is common and you're taking a time derivative of this function okay so the time derivative of this will be minus 1 over t square and this minus will be, can, will be cancelled out with this value here from minus here so the overall value you have is this which i've write, written here okay so how this equation come it equa the equation i've solved you this equation so now multiply this kbt now we are going to multiply this kbt square here and uh, rearranging now you can see that the equation for 
this is the average energy general equation for the average energy and we want to write this average energy in the form of partition function so let's see that the numerator is now same like this okay this term and this term looks same what is the difference this equation in this equation and this equation that we don't have a denominator here okay we don't have this denominator then what what can we do we are going to divide this value okay now we are going to divide this value on both of this side dividing by the partition function z this we know is a partition function here you can see this is the partition function and dividing this partition function here and here we can see that this is this is uh, we open the value for this partition function and we've taken this right side to left side here and this z is as it is like here okay so now you can see that this factor is equal to equation one which is a which is a value for average energy so this factor which i've underlined with the pen with my pencil can be written as average of e average energy and this is equals to this kbt square over z partial z by partial t now we can write this factor partial z by partial t z partial z by partial t as partial by partial t log of z how can we write this equation let's have a look on that so let's say that it is z into partial z by partial t okay this was the factor this is the partial z z into partial one over z okay it's one over z 1 over z partial z by partial t and it is equals to we say that log of partial by partial t partial by partial t log of z how this factor is equal to each other let's say let's see that solving out this factor partial by partial t of log of z will be equals to when we take a derivative of log of z, now, now this we know that z is a function of t. z is a function of t. So, function comes in denominator. And this partial, we, we can write partial z by partial t. Because as a partial derivation, we can have partial z by partial t. So, now we can see that when we simply take the derivative, this term equals to when we take a derivative of log of x, let's say log of x you're taking a derivative of log of x it will be equals to 1 over x okay d by d of x log of x is equals to 1 over x so simply partial z by partial t we, because z is a function of t we can write this equation is equal to this equation so our overall equation can be written as that partial that the average energy is equals to the kbt square partial by partial t log of z so today's lecture is over now and these are the basic terms this is the chapter 5 from roger bowley and we have done the topic now in the next topic we are going to find out helmholtz energy what's helmholtz free energy in the form of partition function to till that assalamu alaikum and thank you very much for your time and if you like my lecture you can subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up